So today we're going to look at how you can get a mouse toggle on your Google TV or ONN box. So if I just press this button here, there we go. Mouse pointer comes up and I can control that mouse with the circle on my ONN box remote control. And you can do this, I'm pretty sure, with any, any Google TV remote. Couple of clicks and it goes off back to normal mode. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so like I say, this guide is going to show you how you can attach a mouse or use an on-screen mouse controlled by your remote control on your ONN box or Google TV. Now, first of all, why would you want an on-screen mouse, I hear you say? Well, there are some apps that are perhaps not really designed for Android TVs or TVs in general. They're more designed for smartphones on the touch screen. So in these cases, Cases, you might not be able to get to certain sort of menus and open certain things up. You might not be able to use the app at all because you just got not not got a touch screen. So in this case, it would be handy to have like a virtual mouse on the screen. So this guide is going to show you how you can download and install that. Now, first of all, you do need to ensure that you've got Downloader installed on your ONN box or Google TV. If you haven't done that already, then take a look at my video on how to do that. There'll be a link to it on the screen right now and a link in the description of this video. So go find it if you haven't done that already. So once you've downloaded it, installed it, set it up, then go into Downloader. And what you want to do is you want to go into the little box there underneath, enter a URL search term or short code. Press the middle button on the remote to get the on-screen keyboard up, go down to the numbers and then type 21203. That's 21203 and then go across to the enter button just in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard, middle button and then what it should do is it should then connect to my store or my downloads page on my website. Feel free to have a look through my website whilst you're there. In a couple of moments, there you go, it will load up. So once it's loaded, let's go down and it's quite a way down here. Let's just keep going down past all these icons here and we're getting close to it now. There we go. It's just there. Mouse toggle for Android TV. So move your red circle over the icon for mouse toggle for Android TV. Middle button and then if an advert comes up, close it and now it should be downloading. Shouldn't take too long because it's quite a small download. Okay, so once you see this, go across to install, middle button, and just let that install. Once it's installed, go across to done, highlight that, middle button, and we can delete this file now. So go across to delete, make sure delete's highlighted in yellow, middle button, and then go across to the second delete, make sure that's highlighted in yellow, middle button there's no need to keep that it's only taking up space so go across just keep tapping the left part of the ring on the remote control until home's highlighted middle button and then back button on the remote control twice and then what we want to do is we want to go across to see all up there that will show us all of our apps and the one right at the end should be mouse for android tv highlight that middle button. Now what we need to do is we need to do a bit of setting up in here first of all. So we need to go down and highlight set up permissions. Once you've got a box around it, a white box, middle button on the remote control and the first thing you want to do is you want to go down and keep going down this list until you see MATVT mouse toggle or mouse for Android TV toggle. If that is switched off or says not allowed like mine does, highlight it, middle button, it should turn on and then it should say allowed. Press the back button on the remote control once. And then what we want to do is we're in the accessibility section. So we want to just go down and keep going down until we get to mouse toggle service. And as you can see, that is switched off. So if yours is switched off like mine is, make sure it's highlighted in white, middle button, and then middle button again, and then middle button again 
to enable it. So make sure that the switch is on and in blue. And if it is, just keep pressing the back button until we get back to this page here. And as we can see here, we should have four greens at the top of the screen. So to the right of accessibility permissions, that should say granted in green. Besides overlay permissions, that should say granted in green as well. And beside accessibility service, it should say running. And beside overlay service, that should also say running. So next thing we want to do is we've got a few things we can do here. We can change a few little settings. I'm going to move the camera in this corner here because it's in the way of a few things. So there you go, I'll just pop that to the top of the screen. Now, first of all, we can change the type of mouse we use. So uh, we can go to that there and there you go. So we can change it. We've got, sorry, the, the camera's in the way again. I'm just gonna move it again. There we go, that's better. So we've got light, we've got dark, we've got orb dark, default, hand or orb. Well, I'm just gonna leave it on light for the moment. We can also determine the scroll speed and the size there just by using the left and right parts of the ring on the remote control to make it larger or make it faster or slower. I'm just gonna leave those as standard. Um, bordered window. Now, it's a good idea to tick this because if not, when we go to the, say, the left or the right-hand side of the screen and we get to the edge, the mouse is just gonna go all the way to the other side of the screen. It's not gonna know where the borders are on the edge of the screen. Same with top and bottom. If we go right up to the top, that'll just keep scrolling to the top and then it'll come out the bottom of the screen. So if I put a tick in bordered window there, it will stop the mouse from going off the screen. Disable boss key, we need this. This is the key we want to allocate to enable the mouse toggle. And so we need to keep this on. And will boss key toggle? Now, if we select yes to that or select put the tick in the box next to that, now that means that this key that we set on the remote control to be the key that turns on the mouse toggle can't be used for anything else. If we turn it off and leave the tick without it, it means that the key can have a double function key. So for, say for instance, if I made the paramount plus key in the bottom right hand corner of the remote, the key for mouse toggle to be um, switched on, then what's going to happen is if I hold that button down for three seconds or around three seconds, mouse toggle will activate. But if I quickly just push that key, then Paramount Plus will load. So it's a, it can be a dual function key. But if you know, for instance, you're not going to use a particular key on here, then you can turn this on. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. The, I'm going to leave it switched off at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to detect at the bottom of the screen, press the middle button on the remote control, and then it's going to ask us to press a key that we want to set to be our key to enable the mouse and disable it. So I don't actually use Paramount Plus. Got no problems with it, I just don't use it. So I'm going to push that Paramount Plus key. And in actual fact, it does try and load Paramount Plus. So I'm just going to press the back button. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold the key down for three seconds, just like it says on the screen. Read the instructions, Chris. So hold it down, two, three. There we go. It still ends up going to Paramount Plus, but I'm going to press the back button now. And it says, confirm your changes. Do you really want to set key 197 as the new boss key? Now, in code, that key the Paramount Plus key is known as 197 key on this remote control. So I'm just gonna say yes to that. Let's give it a try. So if I hold down the Paramount Plus key for three seconds, the mouse appears. If I hold it down again for another three seconds, it should disappear. There we go. But the annoying thing is it goes to Paramount Plus after I've taken my finger off of the key. Now I don't want that, so what can I do to get rid of that? Go up to Will Boss Key Toggle, put a tick in that box there, go down to Save just there, middle button, there you go, it says New Boss Key is 197. Now let's give it a try, so I'm gonna hold this down, or I'm just gonna tap this in actual fact, the once, tap it the once, there you go. The mouse has loaded, tap it twice, and there you go the mouse has disappeared and we're back to 
normal mode. So let's just come out of mouse toggle. So I'm just going to press the home button on the remote, the picture of the house. So we're out of it now. So let's just press the paramount button once. And there you go. As you can see, the mouse has now loaded and I can scroll around the screen on this particular screen because the screen is designed for the Android TV and the remote, you can't actually select anything with the mouse. So I can turn that off just by, let's say, pressing that button twice and still use the normal menu items. But if you had a, uh, a an app, for instance, that wasn't compatible with Android TV and was compatible with touchscreen, that's when that button or that mouse would come into its own. So I'm just going to go back into the settings for mouse toggle. Let's just do that. And I'll just show you what happens if I turn uh, bordered window off. So let's just go across to border and turn that off. Go down to save, come out of this. Let's just press the paramount plus button. And if I hold the, uh, the right hand side of the ring down, as you can see, there you go. The mouse just goes across the screen. See if I do the same for the up button as well. There you go. <laughs> it just goes back down to the bottom of the screen again. So it's a good idea to put that bordered window on, to be quite honest with you, because it can be a bit of a pain when you're moving to one side of the screen and uh, the, the mouse pointer just disappears and then appears on the other side of the screen. So I'll pop that back. So let's try that again now. So hit the Paramount Plus button and let's just go across. There you go, it sticks to that end. In actual fact, the other end, it does slightly disappear. The mouse does disappear, but it doesn't go too far off the screen. Same with the top, there you go. Sticks to the top and the bottom, it disappears off the screen. So there you go, that is a great way of getting a mouse or a virtual mouse on your ONN box or Google TV box. I'm sure this will work with Android TV too. I hope you liked this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Also, have a look in the description down below. Have a look at my Amazon shop. Also, if you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, then have a look. We've got some links down there too for you for that too. Donating, buying or subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, if you see any videos that you think your friends, your family, your work colleagues might like, then please share them on your social media timelines. Thanks very much for watching.